you are watching PR English Shorthand Dictations YouTube channel. This is English Shorthand Dictation number 293 and the dictation speed is 120 words per minute. Ready? Start. It is a great honor and privilege to participate in the fourth convocation of the Indian Law Institute. The stars of the convocation today are indeed the graduating students. So, I would like to take special privilege in congratulating all the students present over here with a special word of congratulations to those who have received the medals. I would also like to extend my greetings to the proud parents who will ever cherish the memories of this day with much greater fondness than the students. I am happy to note that the Indian Law Institute is empowering the young minds with the socially relevant legal education, skill and ability and inculcates in them the values of professionalism. It is my privilege to address such an august gathering present here comprising a rich group of academicians and scholars. The scholars will be going out into the world with one of the most valued degrees in the world. It is because the Indian Law Institute has the unique character and distinction of being a convergence of the three branches of government, the executive, the legislature and the judiciary. The Indian Law Institute is a signature on the road of the legal education whose origins were enriched by the inaugural function blessed by none other than the first president of India in the gracious presence of the first prime minister of India and the honorable chief justice of India. Since its momentous birth in 1956, the institute has been amongst the leading centers of legal research in our country. The deemed university status has further augmented its profile manifold. Pandit Nehru's wishes on the event are recalled at the institute as cherished memories of a stirring tribute and recognition of the men and women of the law. He had envisioned the institute as an instrument to make an invaluable contribution to the advancement of a modern welfare state. I am happy to note that the institute is aiming at cultivating the science of law, promoting advanced studies and research in law so as to meet the social, economic and other needs of the Indian people, encouraging and conducting investigations in legal and allied fields and imparting instructions in law. I am also happy to note that the Institute is working to uphold the sacred object of imparting legal education as justice education to transform the young minds as a human resource for providing social, economic and political justice. The quality of governance in a democracy depends largely on the capabilities and vision of the people who occupy the institutions of governance. Education empowers the people and equips their leaders with the capabilities and capacities needed for good governance. It is you scholars and academicians who are ultimately going to make the real difference to the quality of governance. Education impacts a nation's level of democracy and legal education. It affects the very essence of a modern democratic society that is rule of law. Law is the critical instrumentality both for preservation of society and its evolution to higher levels of existence. History tells us that whenever these principles are threatened, the structure of the edifice is weakened. Therefore, it is imperative that we dedicate ourselves to the rule of law in letter and spirit. It is the spirit, 
not the form of law that keeps justice alive. Legal education gives you a chance to be the leaders of tomorrow, to play a significant role not only in the development of policies in our country but also to play an important part in the development of community of nations. Legal education is a vital link in the creation of knowledge concepts as well as in the application of such concepts in society. The need for trained law personnel in academia, litigation, corporate practice, government and civil society has increased significantly over the last few years and is expected to rise exponentially in the years to come. The degrees that are conferred on you today are neither merely a formal mark of education nor the mere recognition of memorized and absorbed ideas. They represent the awareness and wisdom that you have gained from your scholarly endeavors. Good education secures a sense of equity, preserving individuality with diversity. Knowledge with capabilities to make its proper and profitable use for entire mankind makes it a potent tool of human development, particularly in this information age. Legal education also addresses the mutual relationship between law and society with its different actors, institutions and processes. Law is created and put into practice through societal processes. At the same time, law affects and affects social change. Beyond this, law is further understood to constitute social institutions such as the polity, family, property, corporation, crime, and the individual. The study of law and other specializations in the social sciences are thus closely interwoven. Social, cultural and political opportunities in any culture are determined at least in part by legal rights and the ability to realize them. There is a saying that scholars create peace in the world. I find this to be deeply true. I firmly believe scholars need to rethink about their mission and their relationship to society in every generation. The legitimate aim of education is to promote the major values of a democratic society and to reduce the number of moral mavericks who do not share democratic preferences. So that is what I want for all of you. I want you all to stay true to the most real, most sincere, most authentic parts of yourselves. I want you to ask those fundamental questions. Who do you want to be? What inspires you? How do you want to give back? I want you to take a deep breath and trust yourselves to plan your own course and create your mark on the world. One thing I would like to tell you before you depart from the Indian Law Institute is that the road ahead is not going to be easy. Law is a great profession but not the easy one. The world would not always see you in those hoods and robes. I expect you all to believe in your capabilities while facing the challenges of life. We need the best and brightest of your generation to lead in government and in business. You will have to use the professional tools to shape the law and tailor it to the needs of an evolving society in a world unimaginable when we sat where you are now sitting. I believe that an institution that has values and acts on them can really change the world. An individual can also do the same. That can be you. That must be you. The moral law within yourself must command you to make the highest possible good in the world the final object of all our conduct. Let the temples of learning such as this help unfold the Indian intellect to greater heights of knowledge and let us work together to enable an individual to realize his full potential so as to contribute the cause of nation building. You should have the courage to decide for yourself 
what is right and what is wrong and make firm commitment to the good cause so as to convert your dreams into reality. You should never stop learning.